It's week two of our Cheap Eats food truck edition. If you're looking to try something different this summer, we've got the place for you, right, Cerise? We sure do. Wonton John's has been voted Omaha Food Lovers' number one food truck two years in a row. There's nothing like it in the city, the state, and the owner believes even the country. A look at his creative cuisine in this week's Cheap Eats. Wonton John's. I mean, really, you name it, we've probably put it in the wonton. Isn't your typical food truck. It's definitely something different. John Stastny started this mobile restaurant a few years ago. I just like the, the freedom that it gives me. Um, I like the events that we work. The concept is simple. So we, we provide a wide variety of types of food all on a wonton shelf. The shells are normally fried or steamed. Here, he bakes tray after tray after tray of them. Like we've definitely done events where we've done over 2,000 wontons in a day, like in one shift. Holy so, smokes. Yeah. If you want it, chances are John makes it. So we've done seafood wontons, we've got chicken wontons, we've got vegetarian, vegan wontons, we've got breakfast wontons. He showed me some of his signature flavors, like the peanut butter chicken, the sauce. A little soy sauce, ginger. Honey. Like most things here is made from scratch. It gets uh, basmati rice, peanut butter chicken with the sauce you saw earlier, the green onion on top of there. There's usually six to eight flavors to choose from. This one's the spinach, spinach chicken artichoke. Spinach chicken Parmesan artichoke. Parmesan cheese, spinach, artichoke hearts, a little bit of cream cheese. So we stack the ingredients up like that nice and high so you get a full bite. The Philly cheesesteak is another favorite. It comes with seasoned steak, melted mozzarella, and banana peppers. There's also a sweet wonton. It's loaded with goat cheese crumbles, arugula, marinated strawberries, and honey. The good news is you don't have to pick just one. They're sold in flights of four. And you get to mix and match however you want. For something heartier, he recommends the breakfast burritos. What's so good about your burritos? Uh, People comment on the eggs a lot, but again, we, we take our time on them. Now I know the key to a good burrito. Uh -oh, don't tell me. I won't, shh, it's our secret. <laughs> this is his poutine burrito. Uh, it's got our fluffy scrambled eggs, our house hand cut potatoes, and uh, it's a mix between a breakfast sausage and chorizo gravy that goes over the top, and then we uh, melt cheese curls. Oh, gosh. It. All that goodness is wrapped, then pressed. It's huge! Yeah! Big as your forearm. I think you're right. It's as big as my forearm. <laughs> to, to big burritos. Big burritos. I couldn't wait to taste it all. I haven't had one of those for a while. You've been missing out, buddy. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot how good they are. They taste even better than they look. No kidding. Now to those one time. Well, I'm so excited to try these. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Yeah, it's got some weight full, to it. You packed pack that thing. Sure. First, the peanut butter chicken. This is so smart. Thanks. And messy. <laughs> and delicious. It's all the things. You need the plate. Then, that strawberry goat cheese. The goat cheese just gives it some nice, like, <laughs> creaminess, and mm -hmm. the, the, it pairs so well with the strawberry. Mm -hmm. And then the arugula just gives you a little bit of, like, pepperiness. To, to cut through the sweetness. Oh, that is fantastic. Thanks. That's so good. Delicious and different. So as far as you know, are you the only wonton restaurant, food truck-ish, whatever in Omaha? I mean, I think in, I mean, I haven't seen one anywhere. I've, I've looked all over. That's so cool. Wonton. Yeah, <laughs> wonton John. Wonton John. So those wontons are $14 for a flight of four. To see where Wonton John's will be parked next, just follow them on Facebook at Wonton John's. Now those big breakfast burritos will be sold at the Blend Virtual Food Hall. That's at 107th and Cube. There is a small version, by the way, if that looked too big for you. The Blend only takes online orders. For more details, you can go to blendfoodhall.com. The grand opening is tomorrow, and we'll be right back.